Hello and welcome. So now from this video onwards, we will start creating our Unity City Car Racing 3D game. For that, first of all, open up the Unity Hub. As you can see, my Unity Hub version is 3.1.1, which is the latest version of March 30, 2022. Okay, and let me go inside the installs. As you can see, I have two versions for my Unity. Okay, not Unity Hub, Unity. This one is the older version and this one is the newer version and as you can see it shows that LTS which means long term support. So these two are long term support so if you are using any of this then this game will run smoothly on your computer as well. Okay so as I told you this is the latest version which is 2020.3.32 F1. So let's create a project inside this Unity version. And as you can see, I have added the Android. Okay, let me show it to you from here. If you click on that add modules, so make sure that you add the Android build support. Okay, right here. If you didn't download it, it will show a button like this. So then you can just simply tick it. Okay, right here, here, and here as well. And also, I have this Unity for the Universal Window Platform build support and also for the Window build support okay now let me go inside the projects and from here we will create our new project but guys let me tell you again that make sure that you install the android module in it okay from this add module just simply download the android build support because this racing game is for mobile devices especially for android okay if you want to run this on the ios then you can Simply click on add module and right here you can tick that and add the iOS build support as well. But for now we will leave this as Android. Let's click on this project and right here we will click on this new project. And here is all of the templates. Okay, you know we have added so many templates now. But let's just select the template which we need and that will be this 3D mobile. If you don't have this uh, 3D mobile then you can select this 3D core or any 3D template okay but we have this 3D mobile so I will simply select that and right here as you can see it shows this download template because I have not downloaded this 3D mobile so I will click on this download template and as you can see in few seconds one or two it downloaded that and then right here you can select the location for your project so I don't want to store this project inside this Unity projects. So simply click on this. Okay, right here. We don't want to store our projects in this folder. I want to store this project in this Unity project R. So I will click on this, select folder, and as you can see, it has changed. Now let me name this as City Car Racing Game. Or actually, let this name is as City Car Racing 3D Game. Now let's click on this Create Project. And now, in a minute, our project will be ready and up running. As you can see, it opened up the project in Unity. As you can see, it is now ready. We have the inspector the navigation tab and here is the services we don't want the services tab we want this one the inspector and navigation and guys if you don't know how to add these tabs okay for the inspector you can just simply click on that and click on this add tab and right here you will find the inspector okay but for the navigation you can click on this window then ai and right here you have this navigation okay so like that you can have the navigation as well and there are many tabs open by default which is the console animation and another scene game tree here is our sample scene which is opened already and guys let me clear this out to you again that if you didn't download the android support for this project then make sure to add the android support for this project okay in the unity hub in the installed as I told you, we are using this Unity version. So, whatever version you are using, then simply click on this gear icon and right here, 
click on this add modules and you can add the android support for this version okay let me now close that and if you can't find the options in the unity hub you can also add the android support from here as well just simply click on file build settings and right here there are these options as you can see we have downloaded the android the universal window platform and the pc mac and linux standalone as well so currently our platform which is selected by default is this pc mac and linux standalone we don't want this game for this uh, pc mac or linux we want this game for the android devices so just first of all download this android okay for example if you click on this ios as you can see it shows this install with unity hub the same will be shown for the android if you didn't download it or you can say install it so just simply install or download it and then you will have these options and then these two buttons at the bottom so just simply click on this switch platform and now it will take a minute or two to switch the platform so just wait for this as you can see now our platform is switched to android now as you can see it shows this uh, fetching devices right here we will see all of our devices but that is for the future for now we can just simply ignore that so our project is ready and the next thing which we will be doing is to add the game assets and start creating our game guys let me give you a quick summary of this video just open up the unity hub okay and then just click on the installs and whatever unity version you are using just make sure that you have added the android support for that version okay it shows all of the supports for this uh, unity version this is the latest one as you can see it is for the android for the universal window platform and for the windows and if you don't see the android or any of these two okay for now just simply focus up on this android if you don't see that then simply click on this add modules and right here you will find the android build support just simply take that and install it okay it will show this continue button so you simply click on that continue and it will be then download and install it will take some time depending on your internet speed okay and once that is done then you simply you get back to the projects and then create a new 3d mobile project okay as we did right here and if you can't find the options on the unity hub okay then you can also add the android support from right here as well and once that all the things are done then the last step will be switching the platform so if you are already on the android platform then you are good to go but if you are on any other platform then just simply navigate to the android and right here it will show a button like this which is switch platform okay then switch it to Android and then you will be ready to test your game on Android devices and also you can then upload it to the Play Store or whatever you want to do with your game. So I hope you understand how to create a 3D mobile project and add a Android support to it or you can say any support because the iOS, the WebGL etc etc all of that are similar to the Android okay so once you learn how to add the Android support then you can add the other supports as well so enough talking and let's just end this video right here